I'm here with Manu, the training and induction lead. Manu, tell us a bit about the induction process. Cool, so here at the training centre, um, in order for you to go out onto our site, you need to come through one of my inductions. For us at the Link Alliance, not only do we have the sit-down type of learning environment, but we have the fun piece, which is downstairs, it's our simulators, where it's a little bit more practical and hands-on. So where are we now? We're downstairs in our simulators area. This is where we bring all the inductees from upstairs to come down and participate in all our practical components. So this is our safety glasses experience. This is how we help people understand the importance of always maintaining your safety glasses over your eyes. And Liv's gonna show us just what happens when you're not wearing your safety glasses. That's a pickaxe flying at your face. Oh my God. So this is our hand safety, hand tools experience. It's us making sure people are wearing our cut three minimum glove at all times out on site. This is scary. I just lost a finger. <laughs> it's not even sharp. <laughs> so this is for us to demonstrate when we're overloading all of our circuit boxes or our multimeters. So if you hit that on button for me and count how many seconds it'll take for this to burn up and go up in flames and smoke up. 24, 25, I mean it's pretty smoked up. Oh, okay. I think we've got 26, 26 seconds. So less than 30 seconds is all it takes for everything to go up in flames. So why is it important that we have this induction process down here? Why don't we just get the workers to train on site? Well, main reason is this is a controlled environment that allows us to be able to demonstrate and help them prevent things that actually happen out on site. So if we can help make that change before they even step on site, then we're more for it than actually doing it on site and waiting for an injury. Thanks Manu for showing me around. I think I'm ready to go on site, but do you think I'm ready? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think you're ready, love.